Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to edit your host file in VB6. Before I start, um, a lot of people have been saying that they can't get uh, Visual Basic 6 to work on Windows 7, so how I got mine to work is I just right clicked it, went to properties, compatibility, and I ran it with Vista Service Pack 1. So yeah just try that it might work it might not I don't know but the problem I was having was it would load up but uh, here look I'll show you it would load up like this but when I click standard exe it would just say it's not responding so yeah so what we need to do is well I'm just gonna name this YouTube test for now but first I'm gonna show you how to edit it with just like a button and then I'm gonna show you how to edit it where you can type whatever you want to add to your host file in a text box and add it like add whatever you want but yeah so let's just do it with the button okay so double click your button and for the code type open and then in parentheses and, and uh, quotes type the path of your host file which everyone's is the same path so yeah let me just let me go to that real quick okay here it is so up here just copy and paste that path if you're on XP uh, just type what I type I guess cuz on XP you can't copy and paste the path but yeah I don't use XP much so I don't know at the end of that type host and then put, put another quote and then put your close bracket parenthesis thing okay space and then type 4 output as and then number sign and then one actually I'm gonna change that real quick um, if we put output right there it's gonna uh, make it where it's gonna erase everything already in your host file and add whatever we type in here so I don't wanna do that so I'm gonna change this to append or whatever so just change it to that and um, so now type print number sign one comma and then in print in quotes type whatever you want it to add so I'm just gonna add line one and then if if you want to do like more than one line you can you just once again type print number one comma and then I'm just gonna do line two but whenever you're done adding however many lines you want type close and then number sign and then one no comma or anything after that so uh, yeah let's see how this works okay as you can see this is my host file now it has all this crap for uh, Adobe but okay so now I'm going to test our program. When I click the edit host file button, it looks like nothing happened, but when I go to my host file, uh there it is. Okay. Mm, that's weird. It added line 1 up here right there and then line 2 down here. Let's I'm going to see if I can fix that. If you're doing anything with spaces and you have to do the quotes, but if you're not, then I guess don't put the quotes. Let's see how that works. Oh, never mind. Put the quotes or it won't do anything. I was wrong.
Oh, okay. It works now. That's weird, but yeah, as you can see, it added it. So that worked. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it where you have a text box and whatever you type in the text box goes to your this file. Also, if I'm a little, if I'm going a little slow, it's because Camtasia is making my uh, computer laggy, so it's a little bit harder for me. Okay, so at the top right here, type dim. You don't, we don't have to do this, but it's gonna make it easier. So I'm just gonna do it with uh, the dim command because it makes it easier. So dim uh, text as string, and then down here type text equals text one dot text, and erase that second line we made. This time, no matter what, we're only going to need one line. Right here in the quotes type text so it should look like this dim text one is string text equals text one dot text open and then open it opens our host file and uh, and then it prints whatever is in our text one dot text our text box one right here so yeah that's how that works now let's try it out so I'm just gonna type a random line and click edit host file and now I'm going to go to my host file and oh that's weird it added text okay let's try that without the quotes okay uh... when we're using the uh... text box don't put the quotes when we're using the uh, text box with the dim command don't put quotes around text or then it'll just add text so yeah that's pretty much it and as you can see it works I will have the source code for this in the download in the description uh, I mean so yeah that's pretty much it